John, 3000 Hitman. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, some of the jerseys, signed jerseys in my collection, look at a few, um, and then talk about preservation. I have had a couple people ask me about pre preservation of uh, the baseballs and the auto jerseys. Um, a lot of you know who um, we talk often that I have probably more game use stuff than I do baseball cards. Um, you know, you can see the bats here. I still have bats in other rooms, jerseys. Um, and so I'm more into the actual game use stuff, but most of the episodes we talk about baseball cards. So I want to talk a little bit about preservation because some people have asked me what I do to um, preserve my stuff over the years and how I've done it. Um, <clears throat> you can see sitting behind me is the, uh, uh, Eddie Matthews autoed Milwaukee Braves jersey. Um, Eddie Matthews signed it, put Hall of Fame 78, and then 500, he inscribed it 512 home runs. Uh, I got this from uh, my dad who didn't preserve it very well. He didn't take care of it very well. Um, my dad was a huge baseball fan, played minor league ball, um, but uh, when it comes to preserving stuff, he just wasn't, he wasn't great at it. So anyways, so let's talk a little bit about preserving and I'll show you a couple of jerseys that I have uh, auto signed and then we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so let's look at these jerseys and talk about them a little bit. First of all, the Eddie Matthews jersey. <clears throat> you can see it there. Um, it's holding up fine. It's just this is not, you can see it's starting to bleed a little bit. This is not the way you want to preserve this jersey is by hanging it on a hanger. Okay, so I'll give my dad a pass on that one. Here's how I keep the jerseys and we'll look at a few of these. Uh, keep them in these bags, okay? You can see Ziploc across the top. It's about 14 by 16. You can get them in Amazon or Target. This one, Detroit Tigers, Cecil Fielder. This man should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm not real sure why he's not because the sports writers are idiots. Omar Vizquel, 11-time Gold Glove winner. This man is Hall of Famer and 3000 Hit Club. Wade Boggs on his Boston uniform. This man I stay in contact with when I can. Only other man to have, uh, only other third baseman to have more batting titles is Wade Boggs. This is Bill Madlock. Now teaches hitting in Las Vegas. Uh, great pitcher, Louis Tiant. On a Boston Red Sox jersey. And then member of the 3000 Hit Club and 500 home run is uh, Rafael Palmero on a Baltimore Orioles jersey. Okay. So as you can see, they store better they display better when you need to, and then you can put them away good. So this is the way you should be doing it, putting it in a bag, at least it works for me, and I can put them away. Um, and then again, don't do this. So try to make sure that you uh, keep it put away correctly in a bag, stored, or in a UV protected, framed and matted display case. All right, you guys, let's finish it up. Okay, so those are some of the jerseys that I have that I wanted to show you today. Um, let's talk a little bit about preservation. Preservation is the key to anything, um, specifically with your game used memorabilia, even if it's your bat, your baseballs, um, and your jerseys. Obviously with baseball cards, we preserve them how? We get them graded if you do, you put them in a case. Um, that's the way to preserve those. So with preserving the same measure with your jerseys uh, and baseball, baseballs we'll talk about in another episode. Jerseys, I like to get the travel plastic Ziploc carrying case. It's the ones I showed you that these ones are in. They're usually about uh, 15 by 16. You can get them on Amazon or Target. Put that jersey in there, fold it over, tuck it, put your letter of uh, authenticity in there and put it away. The good thing about these bags and the reason that I like them is they don't hang, they don't pull the jersey down, 
the jerseys stay lay and flat, or you can put them in a case and just put them in order, however you want to do it. If you're going to put your jerseys in a display case, make sure you get a company that you uh, respect. Make sure it's framed and matted properly with a UV protection on there and limit the light that gets in on that jersey. Just because it's in that UV case does not mean it's going to damage it. It's going to get damaged. Anything with ink on it is going to fade over a period of time. So please do the best you can to preserve it. If you keep your jerseys in a closet and um, whether they're uh, in a bag or in a storage case, however you do them, do not hang your jerseys. If they're autoed, don't do, don't do what my dad did. Don't hang a jersey. It's going to fade over a period and it's going to get damaged and worn. The other thing you need to do is uh, put in that uh, closet some kind of mechanism there's product at Lowe's and Home Depot that you can get that will get the uh, humidity and the moisture out of the room. Um, it's just a container. It's about this big. It's got a little bit of a uh, solution in there. And once you uh, put that in that room, I think it lasts about 30 days. It sucks all that moisture out and keeps it in that container so it's not in the room and it's not on your product, your jerseys, your bats, whatever it is. So with that being said, that's how I preserve my stuff. I'm going to talk a little bit more and uh, the next week about preserving baseballs and what you should do, what you shouldn't do to keep that ink on the leather over a period of time. So I hope this helps a few people. If you have any questions or comments or want to know more, uh, I appreciate the comments and then hit the subscribe and reach out to me and I'll talk to you guys.